We are opening up a case uh, with an investigation with regard to the suspected uh, activities involving the 48 migrants from Venezuela that, as we understand it at this point, the facts of the case at this point, are that on uh, Wednesday, September 14th, uh, here in Bear County in the city of San Antonio, uh, our understanding is that a Venezuelan migrant uh, was paid a, a, what we would call a bird dog fee to recruit approximately 50 migrants from the area around a migrant resource center on San Pedro uh, here in San Antonio. Uh, as we understand it, 48 migrants were uh, lured, I, I will use the word lured, uh, under false pretenses uh, on, into, into staying at a hotel for a couple of days. Uh, they were taken by airplane. At a certain point, they were shuttled to an airplane uh, where they were flown to Florida and then eventually flown to Martha's Vineyard. And? This changes what? Nothing. It doesn't change a damn thing. I think that this, by the way, he records a video of himself announcing this. I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know if he agrees with me or not on issues. I don't care. I just am calling, calling balls and strikes as I see him. This is a really self-serving stunt this dude's doing. Because I love it how they're like, well, let's ignore the fact that they committed a crime by entering illegally. Let's look at what maybe they were lured by other people who were here illegally and their false pretenses to get on these planes. And actually, if you know, one of the things that they'd said, people were saying to Martha's Vineyard is that they wanted to go to an area where they that was an identified as a border or a sanctuary area. They specifically said that. Well, Texas ain't no sanctuary area. So go to sanctuary areas. Lord. No one was lured. Were they lured into entering the country illegally? Or do you just, or do you stop there? I mean, how far do you go when you're looking for, you know, the origin story here? This, but this guy, he's, he said that, I, I mean, if they, they're going to look under, what, you're shocked that someone who was here in the country illegally did s recruited other people who were here illegally to get on a plane to go to a sanctuary area and because the other people who were recruited by the one illegal entrant the other illegal entrants that they were somehow tricked and they were lured because they were told they were going to a sanctuary area i'm t where's where's the problem here I mean, the only problem that I see is that we have people who keep entering illegally by the thousands. I mean, every single week, that's all I see is people entering illegally by the thousands. Does the Bear County Sheriff's Office have, an other, have any other point besides this self this self-aggrandizing stunt? I love these people. I'm going to do a video of myself. Look at me official. I'm being official, sitting here officially. And... Where's the official video on people, all the people entering illegally in the first place? Where's the official video on ranchers finding kids on their property? Where's the official video of the 53 illegal entrants that were left to die of heat stroke in a van? Where's the official video of the young women that are being raped by the coyotes drug across the river uh, illegally and entering into the U.S.? Where are the videos on that? Oh, did we not have time to make videos on those issues? Did we not have time to do that? Is it only when it's the hottest in the press because the white progressives and Martha's Vineyard are upset that's when you feel the need to go and make a video about it? <laughs> Protect and serve. Seriously. Do not. This is why I say I back lawful enforcement, but I don't back anything universally. So they open an investigation into that. Maybe they can open an investigation into what's happening, you know, the, why the federal government or how the federal government is actually assisting and... Uh, really encouraging illegal entry.